I'm Nick von Heller, and today we'll be reviewing the American healthcare system. Did you know that there are 325.7 million people in the United States? And between 1946 and 1965, 76 million people were born. This generation was called the baby boomers. In 1965, President Lyndon Johnson signed the first Medicare and Medicaid bills. Medicare, by federal definition, is the insurance program provided by the U.S. government when you are eligible at the age of 65. Did you know 57 million people were on Medicare in 2017? Critics say spending on senior citizens and using Medicare and Medicaid is actually costing the United States quite a lot and could stunt our growth as a nation. In fact, according to the National Congression Office of the United States, <clears throat> we spent over $952 billion in 2012 on health care. We're supposed to double that by 2020, leaving us at $985 billion. There's plenty of solutions to try to fix this, but not all of them are that great. One solution proposed is that we raise the age of Medicare. We've done it to Social Security, so why not? But the problem is, is the people who were born after 1960 must wait till 70, uh, 67 to receive their full benefits. <clears throat> Bumping Medicare's age up to 68 will save us $53 billion. Barack Obama once said, here's the truth. Millions of Americans rely on Medicare in their retirement, and millions more will do so in the future. But with an aging population, the rising health care costs will we will be spending too fast to sustain a program. And if we don't gradually reform the system while protecting current beneficiaries, <clears throat> it won't be there when the future retirees need it. We have to reform Medicare to strengthen it. So it's up to us as citizens to decide what we want to do. Do we want less health care? Do we want more health care? It's all about what we do with our money and as <clears throat> what we do when, with our taxes, uh, as always. Nick Funhiller signing off.